Thank you, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. One of the marks of nationhood is artistic expression that reflects our national culture. And this week, uh, a delegation came to Parliament House under the theme, Make It Australian, Our Stories in Screen. Uh, this was a group that included uh, Judy Davis, Richard Roxburgh, Deborah Malman, Philip Noyce, Gillian Armstrong, Andrew Knight, Ellie Beaumont, Joe Porter, Anita Jacoby and Michael Tare. What we have there is the best of Australian creativity. We need to make sure that Australian stories can be told and seen. Recently, I saw the movie adaptation of Tim Winton's novel, Breath, an amazing uh, movie that should be seen by all Australians. Stories that we see on TV, like Sea Change and Rake, tell the Australian story about who we are and what we are as a nation. They help us look at ourselves. They help us laugh at ourselves, which is, of course, the Australian way. Australia has a rich artistic tradition that began uh, way back, uh, of course, tens of thousands of years ago with the first Australians, with the great art, uh, the oldest art in the world, is on rocks and on bark right here in Australia. And that tradition today continues with those who've come to make Australia uh, their home uh, since uh, the 18th century. Uh, the government has a critical role in supporting the arts sector. This is important for our economy, but important also for our culture. A delegation of industry figures asked us to support their industry. They want us to maintain quotas for locally made children programs and drama. They want us to impose local content obligations on streaming services. They want us to continue to provide adequate funding for public broadcasters and screen agencies. And I'm very proud that Labor's announced that we will reverse the cuts to the ABC and will stop the cut, the attacks that have occurred on the ABC and SBS. The fact is that culture is important and our Australian culture, this island continent, has a different culture from the rest of the world. This molding, melting pot that is Australia needs to be seen, needs to be told. And through the arts is how we do this. I'm very proud that I represent an electorate that has a very high proportion of creative artists across the sector, writers, uh, actors, producers, people involved in the arts, and I call upon the government to recognise that the need I to support the that sector.